What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Tides TV back again with another video. All right, so today I want to give you guys a little sexy video, you know? You know? A little sexy. <laughs> All right, all serious. I want to make a special video. Today I want to make a video. All right, today I want to give you some top tips for tops, okay? That is like a tongue twister. All right, once again, that is top tips for tops. All right, so yeah, hashtag first lives matter. All right, so my thing is this. I know that the gay community is this short, and I'm pretty sure that it's a select number of tops out there in the world. If there are any tops out there in the world, to be honest. So, without further ado, I'm about to get into some things, but before we get into some things, I need everybody to hit that subscribe button below, hit a thumbs up on this video, make sure you hit that bell notification, drop a comment, and let's get into the Team Tosh TV. Let's go. I just got 10 million bucks for shit that I ain't even do yet You spent your money, but I ain't say I was your boo yet You got your feelings hurt, I ain't really mean to do that I'm just a bad bitch, I'm sorry I put you through that I'm from New York, but we'll never say good morning Alrighty, fellas, let's get into this video So if you are watching this video, my friend I'm pretty sure you came over here for some tips for tops, right? I'm pretty sure Quarky mates, oh my god, London I don't know, I just went from like the UK to like, I went from like the UK to Australia, like I don't know, like it's like in between. Alright you guys, so I'm pretty sure you came to this video because you were like, oh I need some top tips, I need some tips for some tops. I'm so corny. Alright, anyway, so now in all seriousness, I want to give you guys a few tips that can help your sex life get a little better. Now, this might not be for kids, and I have to make that sad public service announcement on YouTube now because YouTube has these certain laws, rules, and regulations that I have to abide by, and I must comply because I don't want to get sued, and I damn sure ain't got no money for you to be suing me, YouTube, so... This is not for kids. All right, but anyway, let's get into the video. All right, so if you want a good sex life, these tips are some tips that you probably already know, but I'm pretty sure you need a little refresher. So let your boy Taj TV help you out. All right, so number one is be prepared. Like, and when I say be prepared, is be prepared mentally. Like, you have to mentally get prepared for sex. And if you're topping, you most definitely have to be in that mind frame. Like, I don't know about you, but I'm going in that mind frame. Like, yeah, I'm about to. I'm gonna do my thing. Cause I don't know about you, but every guy like, you know, they vision like how they gonna do it, what position they gonna put it in, what they gonna flip, how they gonna do it, is they gonna, I don't know about you, but that's me, all right? That's just me, Blake, boy. All right, so I go into it mentally, get prepared, physically get prepared, shower, you know, of course, gotta, you know, but we gonna get into that. But the first step is just be mentally prepared. Make sure you're not tired. Make sure you're not drained. Make sure you're in the mood to actually have sex and actually top because I'm pretty sure you're gonna be doing all the work. A little, you're gonna be doing all the work, so you're gonna be tired. So make sure you prepare, make sure you hydrated, and you know, play, play, make sure you good. All right, number two is a big thing that I stress, and I should have started with this message, but let's go ahead and make this public service announcement, shall we? Safe sex is great sex, and over here at Times TV, we promote and we encourage safe sex. We encourage getting tested every three to six months. Yep, they have PrEP is a big thing in the gay community now, but I want to just encourage that PrEP is for HIV, not for STDs. So I just want to put that out there. Always get tested. Make sure that you, you know, know where, who your partner is. Make sure you use condoms. You use lube, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Because my quote is safe sex is great sex and sex responsibly. Okay? Can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you that there is a lot of HIV going around. There are a lot of STDs going around. And with us being men, and this is a video for gay men. So men... And indulging in sex with other men, we have to make sure that we are protecting ourselves, that we are going to the doctor, that we are getting our blood checked, that we are checking for STDs, that we're getting our throat swabs, that we're doing the proper protocol to stay healthy, okay? Now, it may seem a little extra, it might sound a little uncomfortable, but for me, I'm just so comfortable talking about sex. All right, I don't want to weird you out too much about same sex, but listen. Would you rather just ensure that you're healthy by getting the condom? Listen, I don't care what nobody say. I always use a condom. And I don't care how good you look. I don't care what you're telling me. Because at the end of the day, unless you're my partner, unless you're my significant other, then I'm not having sex with you raw. And that's just period. Now, I'm not going to say that, you know, people don't have raw sex. But I'm just going to say this. 
is know who you're having sex with and know your partner because even your partner could be having another partner. They got another partner times two, times three, times four. So now you got something. Now you can't get rid of it. <laughs> All right, you guys. All right, number three is know your body. Now, this is a big one that I, you know, most definitely can relate to because, you know, I'm versed. So it's like I am a verse top. So I like the top more than bottom, but when I do bottom, I like to be into it. So it's like... A top knows what a bottom likes. So a top has to be extra, you know, delicate. In my opinion, this is me. Delicate, you know, know the spots, know the likes, the dislikes, know, you know, I don't know about you, rub the nipples, you know, do something. Like, you got to please your bottom like. It's something. Like, you just got to please your bottom like. You got to know the likes and dislikes because if your bottom not happy, baby, it's not going to happen. Period. Can I get a period? Can I get a period? All right, I heard you. I heard you. Fine. So number four is tune into your bottom's mood slash verbally appreciate. So that's another thing. So you have to tune into the bottom's mood. You have to make sure he good. You have to make sure, you know, he ready, relaxed. You know, you have to make sure that he is comfortable with letting you inside of him so that he can feel good, so that you can feel good. Okay, now I don't know about you, but when your bottom is happy, you're happy. And a happy bottom is a happy top. And a happy top is a happy relationship. And not even a relationship, but a happy session or whatever you're doing i don't know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. Next. <laughs> number five is give the bottom some control so it's getting kind of hot in here okay so let me i'm extra i know so extra all right you guys so get the bottom some control so it's nothing like a top that just want to be in control all the time now like me ain't no way i'm just finna just let no dude just just come and just no back up Damn, back up. Damn, can I get some space? Damn. And, and you can't give him a break because I'll be like, give me a break. Look, you trying to work me out and I try, I'm trying to stay intact. You trying to open me up like that. I'm, trying to, I'm like this. You trying to do this. I'm like this, y'all. They trying to give me like this. Okay, now I'm not open like that. I'm like, I'm, I'm tight, tight, tight. Okay, I'm just saying, but... You get a bottom from control. So when you get a bottom from control, that just allows your bottom to, you know, take some aggression. I don't know about you, but I like aggression. Like, take over me. You know, take over. Pin me down. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Getting a little, getting a little high. Okay. I feel you. And that makes me want to go back to you because if your bottom takes control, uh, uh, a dominant bottom is, like, powerful to me because it's like, I, I know I'm working with some, but you working with some guy. Hey, what you working with over there? Okay. I had to, I had to shake that. All right. Number six is get that booty wet. Get it wet, 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 wet. Yeah. All right. You got to get it wet. Now, listen. I don't know about you, but you have to indulge in like foreplay. It's like a rubber band. Once it opens, it opens, and it opens. But it does go back, you know, it's like an elastic, it like, you know, it, it stays intact though, okay? But once it opens up, it's open. So you can get whatever once you get that thing open. Now you know, now you know if I know like you know, when you get that thing open, baby, you up in there. Next case. All right. So number seven is be a freak for play spice stuff. Now, in my opinion, this is very important. Nobody just like, give me a little sucky sucky and just stick it in. No, nobody likes that. Nobody likes that. Listen, if that's all your sex consists of, I don't want it. That's boring. That's stale. Like, I don't want to just, all right, step one, step two, step three. No, let's spice it up. Let's do some foreplay. Let's... <laughs> I ain't gonna get too much into it because I like to stay monetized on YouTube and I just don't like to play with YouTube like that. Y'all play with YouTube like that, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna stay under the radar. Don't even need them clocking or docking me. But neither here nor there. But spice it up, be spicy, get some board playing line, get the mood right, and then the sex will be even better because you done already got hot and warmed up. So you already know what you can get into. Number eight is make sure your bottom nuts. Now, I cannot stress this enough. I cannot stress this enough, and I'm a versatile top, and I make sure my bottom's always nut because it's like, it's lame, like, the top always gets it nut, and then it's like, bro, I'm good about it. All right, pimp. Peace. 
No, get back up in here, lick on these nipples. Do something. Rub my chest or something. You ain't gonna just get up out of here with, no. So like, if you wanna be considerate, make sure that y'all both know or try to hold that nut a little bit, cause y'all don't know if you can hold it, but hold it. Or just make sure he gets his. Because it's nothing like you getting yours and they not getting them. Cause it's like, what's the point? I could have just, you know, did other things by myself. You see how I did that? Y'all see how I did that? Cause YouTube will... Rule number one, don't play with YouTube. All right, number nine is communicate. You have to communicate your likes and dislikes. If I say I don't like that position or it hurt, it hurt. If you hear your body and be like, look, it hurt. Like, look, I ain't comfortable. Look, no, you don't want no situation and it's not a vagina. Listen, you don't want no Picasso and you don't want no paint nowhere and you don't want to be having, you know, mm, be having, um, no sticky situation going on. So just communicate and make sure that you're both comfortable. If y'all need to take a break, take a break. If y'all need more lube, get more lube. If y'all need to put on another condom, put on another condom. Just take your time, cause y'all ain't going nowhere. Take your time. All right, they still walking around here with dogs. All right, so, uh, and number 10, and for the final one is be clean. For my tops and my bottoms. That's be clean, make sure you take your hygiene serious because although you a top, that don't mean nothing. That still mean going there and wash your nuts. That still mean going there and wash under your arms. Go and wash behind your ears. Go and, and scrub your nuts and scrub your butt because it stank. And I don't want you to, I don't know about you, but Bob knows definitely gotta make sure that they, um, you know, bleed it out, dish it out, whatever you wanna call it, and, and, and keep that over there because when you come over here, you need to be smelling like cocoa, butter, some, some bath and body works or something. And I know I don't want to smell that. If you if you need a shower, shower before you get to me. That's just fly. All right, but um, I think that's about it. That just means communicate and have safe sex because I feel like this. It feels so good having raw sex. Now, I'm just going to say that it feels so good. But I ain't come on raw sex. But what I will say is this. It ain't nothing like some Trojan Ultra Thin Condoms. And this is for my people out there. This is a side note, and this is not even sponsored. But this is a side note. Like, if you like the feeling of not having a condom on, I'd say my best suggestion would be get Trojan Ultra Thin. Because even for me, they work. You know, I'm blessed. But even for me, they work. So it would just be get those and get you some nice lube. And I guarantee you, you will never go wrong. It's the same feeling. Hell, I've been having, I've been wearing condoms so long, shit. I don't even, you feel me? I'm just like, look, it's, a, it's, I'm used to it. And nowadays, when you pull out a condom, people get offended. Like, no, I'm not saying you got it. I'm just saying, I want to protect myself. People look at you crazy when you pull out a condom nowadays. Look, is, am I wrong? I'm not on prep, so I'm not out here looking to get on prep. I'm out here looking to have great sex, safe sex. Safe sex is great sex. But anywho, until we meet again for another video, I hope y'all like these tips. Make sure you hit a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and come over here and join the Tosh TV family. I love you. If ain't nobody else told you, stay missing, not too missing, but with just a little bit of shade. Uh